Hi there! I don't know about you, but lately I have just been sitting around thinking, daydreaming about the day that I will get to go to a concert again. <laughs> And this got me thinking, what would my ideal set list be for some of my favorite artists? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Andrea, and on this channel, I love to talk about music, pop, country, music. If you're into that, be sure to subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Anyways, today we are going to be talking about Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is on top of her game right now, in the middle of a pandemic. After postponing the release of Chromatica, Lady Gaga released her sixth studio album on May 29th. In the first week, Chromatica sold 274,000 units. That is her best since Born This Way. Also, Stupid Love and Rain On Me with the Ariana Grande have both reached Billboard's top five since the album's come out. Needless to say, fans love the album, memes are flying everywhere, the TikTokers are dancing to it, the little monsters just love this stinking album. It's so good. Also, two weeks ago, Lady Gaga did a fun dragger, that's what she called it, a fundraiser for the Marsha P. Johnson Institute. If you don't know who Marsha P. Johnson is, I would highly recommend educating yourself on who she is, what her mission was. Reading off their website, it says, the Marsha P. Johnson Institute protects and defends the human rights of black transgender people. We do this by organizing, advocating, creating an intentional community to heal, develop, transformative leadership, and promoting our collective power. So support it go donate, go check it out, go learn about her, and let's support Black Lives. I've now seen Lady Gaga three times live. I saw her in Boston at Fenway Park when she did the Joanne World Tour, which I was in the pit for. I saw her Vegas residency shows, so I saw Enigma, and I saw the Jazz and Piano show, which I vlogged, so I'll link that below for you. <laughs> I am a long time Lady Gaga fan. The Fame Monster album is my favorite album of hers. But as I've grown older and understand Lady Gaga more and understand her music more, I mean, I'm just obsessed with her. What can I say? <laughs> okay, so I have designed a set list <laughs> of my favorite Lady Gaga songs. So I made this set list basically like if Lady Gaga were to come up to me and be like, what do you want me to perform? I would be like, here's my list. <laughs> Let's get on with this. <laughs> All right, so I did keep in mind Chromatica just came out. It's fresh. I want to see some new choreography. Yes, Richie, do the choreography for the Chromatica ball, please. Okay, so the opening number of my ideal Lady Gaga set list would be Chromatica 2, duh. Wouldn't this just be so cool? Like she has like a live orchestra on the stage and Brian Newman is there playing his trumpet and like we're all like screaming in a stadium because we're so excited to see Lady Gaga. <sighs> wow, I really miss shows. <laughs> Obviously, Chromatica 2 would lead in to 911. I mean, how can you, how, how could you play Chromatica 2 and not 911? You can't. I think if I were seeing it live though, I would want maybe like an extended version of Chromatica 2, like build the hype, you know what I mean? Like, get me hyped, get me suspense. Like, we are about to see freaking Lady Gaga. The opening needs to be incredible. I just think that would be so cool with like an orchestra. After 911, I would love to hear Dance in the Dark. As I mentioned earlier, The Fame Monster is my favorite album of hers and Dance in the Dark is it. It's just a classic. Like if you know, you know, you know. After that, I would love to see John Wayne. I would love to see that in a set list. That song just it makes me strut. Like I used to listen to that and like strut my way to class in college. Like it's it's a really it's a good one. John Wayne. <laughs> okay, this next song, like don't judge. Don't judge. I don't even know if this is possible. But I would love to see a teeth and monster mashup. Like wouldn't that be cool? If you're not, you know, a longtime Lady Gaga fan like myself, those two songs are off the Fame Monster and 
yeah, I just want more of the fame monster, clearly. I would like to see them be performed separately, but I feel like there's other things I want to see on this list, so mash them up, Gaga. I know you, I know you were smart enough to do that. Please give it to us. Me, I don't know anyone else who wants that mashup, but I do. Okay, this next portion of the set, we're getting into some feminism, okay? We're getting into the female empowerment. We are standing up for women with Shiza. When I saw Shiza performed at Fenway Park, I felt so empowered as a woman. And thank you, Lady Gaga. I just will never forget. I, like, she was standing and she was like facing at an angle and she was like, this one's for the girls! And she like screamed it. I wonder if I have a video of it. So this one's for all the girls tonight. Shiza! It was just like one of the best moments ever. Following Shiza, I wanna see Free Woman. I wanna see it back to back. I want like those like solid few minutes of my life just to be like Lady Gaga telling me like you are strong, you are powerful, like you are a woman and you're free. You're a free woman, uh uh. Free, free, free. So after that, I would imagine that would be like a lot of lights, a lot of instruments, a lot of dancing. Let's calm it down. This is what I propose at this point in the set list. The speechless piano version. I'll let you in on a little secret. Speechless is my favorite Lady Gaga song ever, ever, ever. That song was one of the first songs I ever learned on piano. I absolutely love, love. Speechless. How can you not? Another thing I love about Lady Gaga is her piano cover of Paparazzi. She did this about 10 years ago on a radio tour. There's a video of it on YouTube that I watch quite frequently. <laughs> I'll link it below, but she has this version of Paparazzi that is... <sighs> inspired me so much musically and I don't think I would sing or play piano or guitar or anything now if I didn't see this 10 years ago. That's how much it means to me. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I want to see paparazzi on the piano. At this point in the show, I think, you know, we're over the, the quiet, chill piano, the beautiful piano Lady Gaga would play for us. So let's hype it up, and this is kind of out of left field if you're like a little monster, but I wanna see Hair Body Face in the set list. Hair Body Face, if you're unfamiliar, was kind of a quick song. You really have to like catch it in A Star Is Born. Whenever I listen to the Star Is Born soundtrack, I need to listen to Hair Body Face. And I'm sorry, everyone. This is my opinion. I know there are tons of people that are going to disagree with this, but Shallow is not on my set list. Like, I have heard Shallow. I've seen so many covers online. I've seen endless people perform it at karaoke. I've sung it in my car with my friends so many times. I am over that song. I think it is a wonderful piece of artwork, but if I had to choose my favorite Lady Gaga songs or set list, it would not be on the set list. It is not on my set list. Period. Wow, do I have beef with Shallow? Kind of sounds it. All right, so hair, body, face, and then I don't know if this would happen, but I want it to happen in my dreams. We would have a special guest come along, and that special guest would be Beyonce. I want to see Beyonce and Lady Gaga perform Telephone. Imagine? I don't, I don't think they've ever done it live together. But imagine seeing that on stage today. Ugh. This is so funny and like so unrealistic. But you know, a girl can dream. So with Telephone, we're kind of in like a throwback area of the set list. And next up, I would want to hear Bad Romance because that is just a song that will forever be a part of Lady Gaga's career. Like, we will always want to see Bad Romance, we'll always want to do the dance, like, we'll always want to sing along to Bad Romance. Like, Bad Romance never goes bad. Now, here's the thing about this next song. So we go Bad Romance and then applause. What? I mean, I needed some love for art pop on there somehow, so. I will say what really sold me on applause I liked the song, but I didn't love it until I saw it live. 
like when I saw it on the Joanne tour, it was just so colorful and the choreography was so cool and it really stood out to me out of all the songs I saw that night because when I was in the pit, I kind of like, I was like, this is a dream, this isn't real. After applause, I would want on my set list, plastic doll. I truly cannot wait until the day we see this live. I really wonder what Lady Gaga has envisioned in her mind to perform this live. What are the costumes gonna be like? Is there gonna be a big production? I feel like a song like that does need a lot of production, but I'm just so excited to see how she's envisioned it in her head. That day will come. We will have that day. One day. We will see it. One day. Wear a freaking mask, okay? <laughs> I wanna see that. Closing out the show, I would want to see Born This Way. Um, again, kind of similar to Applause, I mean, I always loved Born This Way. I mean, it's just a song like everyone loves, everyone gets down to. But when I saw Born This Way at the Enigma show, <laughs> I'm gonna insert the video of Andrew and I. Born this way was so fun. I would love to end it on that note. But of course, Lady Gaga always has an encore, right? Yeah. So if you watched my ranking of Chromatica video, you will know that I am obsessed with the deluxe song on Chromatica called Love Me Right. I listen to it every single day. I adore that song. I have no critiques on that song. So for the first encore song, I would want her to come out on her piano and play Love Me Right. Okay, Lady Gaga, if you are watching this, please, if you consider anything from this video, consider Love Me Right as an encore song. Like that would make my little heart just so happy. So Love Me Right would go into the very last song, Babylon. Imagine ending on Babylon. You have to. Lady Gaga, if you're still watching, you have to. You have to end on Babylon. Like, imagine going home and like walking out of a venue and being like, straight out, walk a mile. Like, that would be so fun. Because like the last song for me at a concert, I feel is like, when I go home like singing because it's like fresh in your mind. And I want people to go home and sing Babylon. So that is why it is the last song on my set list, Babylon. So what'd you think of my set list? Do you agree with some songs? I hope you agree with Babylon being last. Are there songs I left out? I would imagine your set list is very different than my set list. So if you wanna take the time, be sure to comment it below and let's chat about it. It's so fun to see other people's favorite songs and what they think of an artist and what I think of an artist and just all the goodness of Lady Gaga. Ah, I just love talking to you in the comments. So be sure to say hi. Again, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you for watching it. Be sure to subscribe down below and I will see you Saturday for another reaction video. I can't wait. I'll see you then. Bye.